Well, happy Thursday, church family. I want to give you a few verses from Scripture and a word of encouragement for you today. I want to read to you a passage out of Scripture that's one of those passages that you read it and you're like, is this really in the Bible? Did Jesus really say these words? And I want to read these words and kind of offer some insight and hopefully encourage you as we walk through these challenging times. But in Luke chapter 14, crowds have gathered. Uh, Jesus has become very popular and well-known because of his miracles and because of his teaching. And it says in Luke chapter 14, we'll read three verses in verse 25, that great multitudes had gone with Jesus. And he turned to them and said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Now, at first glance, the first time reading it, you think, why is Jesus telling us to hate our father and mother, our brother and sister, even our own lives? This really doesn't make sense. Uh, I thought Jesus was the Prince of Peace and he's all love. And what is he saying here? And he's saying to this great multitude that had gathered that our love for him should be so great that when compared to everything else, everything else should look like hate. Uh, the love that we have for Jesus should be so supreme that we can't even compare it to all the other loves in life. And Jesus talks about really some of our closest relationships. You think about your father and your mother, your wife and your children, your brothers and sisters, even our own lives. These are all things that we love. I love my wife and son more than anything on this earth. But what Jesus says is our love for him needs to be so great and if we're not willing to bear our cross and follow him we cannot be his disciple we can't follow jesus unless we put him first place in our lives what jesus is saying here is we have to be willing to give up everything to follow him our closest relationships and even our own lives need to be put on the line because of our love for him and if you think about it during covid 19 we haven't had to give up our lives and we haven't had to forsake our families but We've had to give up some things that we uh, think are normal or, or fun. For instance, I cannot wait to go back to my favorite Mexican food restaurant, Casa Mexico 2. Uh, some of us have had to give up getting haircuts, although Pastor Jim hasn't had that problem. We've had to give up a few things uh, to flatten the curve, to promote the health and the welfare of all the people around us. And so we've had to give up a few things. Now, although we've given up a few things for COVID-19, not too many of us have had to give up our lives for following Jesus. But when it comes to following him, the principle is, is that we have to be willing that no matter what, if we're asked to, when the time comes, our love for Jesus should be so great that everything else in comparison looks like hate. You know, one of the things that has happened during COVID-19 is, you know, our whole lives have kind of hit pause and we've been able to reevaluate our priorities and our time. We spent lots of time with our family. And maybe this is a time that you and I have seen, hey, our love for Jesus is first, but we need to prioritize our time with him more than ever before. So I would encourage you that as things start to reopen, as we enter into a new normal, prioritize your time with the Lord because of your supreme love for him. May it be said of us as believers and as followers of Jesus that our love for him is so great that everything else looks like hate. And the best part about that is, is that when Jesus calls us to love him first, he does so out of a love for us because he knows that when we put him first, we can truly love everyone else the way that we need to. So we love you. We can't wait to meet in person again. We miss you. Let it be said of us that we love Jesus the most. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.